Housing, Karun Jenga, take it away. Thank you, Betty Keep Tomb, right here from Arti House, as we get to discuss about the affordable housing program. Remember, this is a program that is in the heart of uh, President William Ruto, and he has been working towards ensuring that the country achieves affordable housing across the country. Remember, in the last two weeks, he has been going around the country launching affordable housing programs. We saw one in Thika, where he launched a big project there, and we saw another one in Kerugoya. And this is a part of the project that... Uh, uh, that is, uh, the government is working towards ensuring that Kenyans uh, have a roof over their heads. And to expound more on this, I am joined by the Cabinet Secretary for Lands and Housing, housing that is uh, Zakaria Anjero, to talk to us about the update and the progress of the construction of the affordable housing uh, program. Thank you for joining us, sir. Maybe you can give us a, an update uh, an, on uh, the construction of the affordable housing program, where we are at as a country, and also talk a little bit about the legacy projects that are, were there previously. Thank you very much. Um, we all know that affordable housing uh, program is a key agenda in this current administration, and His Excellency the President uh, is key to make sure that uh, this program works well. Um, previously, there were, uh, there, were, there were projects that had been started in the previous uh, government, and now we, are, we, are, we, are, we want to make sure that they are all completed. In the current uh, administration, we have several projects going on across the country. We have one uh, going on and doing very well in Homa Bay. We have one in Akuru. We have one here. Uh, we have several here in Nairobi. We have Mavoko. We have Starehe. We have Shauri Moyo. A, and today we will be signing uh, with a contractor uh, that is uh, Higher Services Limited for the Shauri Moyo B. Uh, we also have um, one in uh, Ruiru, and as you've well mentioned, uh, in the last four, four days, we launched one in Kirogoya and one in Tika yesterday. So this is a program that is going on very well, and we also want to build 200 uh, units in every constituencies. Already we have started advertising, we advertised 29, and as we are speaking, 12 of, of them have already been awarded. So we are, uh, we are up to it, and uh, I can assure you that soon our country will be a, uh, a beehive of construction. One thing also we should note, apart from the four walls and the roof, we'll also be creating jobs to our young men and women, and also uh, assisting the MSMEs to have a uh, market for what uh, uh, they, they 69, we ring first 69 uh, components, uh, building components that will be supplied by the SMEs and the Juakalis, and that way we'll be creating a lot of jobs to our young people, as promised by His Excellency the President. You, you talked about uh, around 48,000 uh, houses under construction. I'd like you to categorize them right. according to the various uh, uh, people. Yes, uh, last week, last week we did advertise uh, we did advertise uh, several uh, projects we advertised affordable housing programs that we uh, projects that that will have 6890 uh, units for the GSU uh, that's the uniformed uh, forces we advertised 11785 units for the police we advertised over 21692 and also we've realized our students uh, uh, live in insecure areas, and therefore we have uh, we we have purposed to make sure that we also build uh, seven, uh, hostels for our students. And uh, within the same week, we advertise for eight thousand uh, hostels. So, and we will we will still going to to advertise for more. Okay. Yes. The project that you've just launched, the Shauri Moyo B project, uh, I'd like you to give us the cost estimates and also in terms of uh, the the number of houses that will be constructed. Right uh, for the uh, for the uh, for the Shauri Moyo B, we are going to have a total of four thousand five hundred and sixty six units. And the project will cost uh, 18 billion, 
uh, over 18 billion. Uh, so 18 billion, 320 million. Yeah, so it's a, it will be a huge project. And within that uh, project, we're going to have a social hall. We're going to upgrade uh, nearby schools. Actually, we are going to to a nearby school. We will have commercial centers. We have a playground for our children, uh, parking slots, which will be 1,672. And also, we will green the area. We'll plant trees to make sure that uh, that uh, area is, uh, is uh, environmentally friendly. And this project will kick off immediately? Yes, it's good. Actually, after signing today, I believe by tomorrow, or uh, as soon as possible, they'll be there. The project will be in three phases, and it will, it will, the total completion will be four years. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much, the CS. If I may bring in the, the PS, please, uh, Charles Hinger. Uh, kindly, I'd like you to talk a little bit about the contentious issue about the housing levy. I know most Kenyans are worried yeah. <laughs> about this bill and how it's, going to be, uh, how it's going to be backdated. I'd like you to speak a little bit about this. Uh, PS, thank you for joining us. Uh, uh, talk to us about this housing levy and uh, Kenyans out there are ha pessimistic about this housing. Tell us why we need to have this levy as a country. Um, all these um, projects, the 18 billion, the over 70 billion that is already under construction, um, this is money that is coming from investors. And the investors um, are there and want to be reassured that there will be money when the units are completed uh, to offtake the units. Now, the people that we are uh, focused on so that they can be able to get these homes may not be as attractive to the investors because of the low incomes. That is why between the low income earner and the investor, you have a fund. It's as simple as that. So the fund offtakes, then we enter into a very long term agreement with the low-income earners where they can pay based on the size of their pocket, right? So that is really the essence of the fund. You know, there's so much kizungu here and there, but uh, in short, that's what uh, the fund is all about. It's an optic. 18 billion, for them, they will build very fast. They want to make sure that when they build, there is money that is available to buy those houses. Then when the houses are handed over to us, we have a process of very fair process, and I hope uh, Kenyans are, you know, as pessimistic as you are. Please don't forget to register and and apply for these units because they're yours. Mm -hmm. And um, sooner than later, you will be living in your own decent home. That is what this is all about. Okay. Mm. I'd like you to clarify on um, the Kenyans who are, there are various uh, people who are saying that it will only uh, the people who are earning more, less than 150,000 are the ones who are no, going to get no, that's no longer uh, the case. houses. That's no longer the case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's the case? It's one ID, one house. Okay. Simple as that. Okay. Well, thank you. That has been the PS. <laughs> Charles Singer is speaking to us about the housing levy and I hope you've had it from him, from his mouth saying that this is a program that will benefit all of us since it will also constructing low cost housing across uh, the country. That has also, earlier on, has been the CS for Lance. Uh, that is Zachary Angeru talking to us about the affordable housing program and the rollout of the Shauri Moyo B project right here in Nairobi. Back to you in studio.